So here we are again, another intro video. If you watched the video on Wednesday, you'd know that I said, come join me this coming Friday for big news on the Van Build Project 2. So the last time that we were in a field, this is a different field, same farm. The last time we were in a field, I was leaning on the Discovery 3, which we were going to turn into an overlander. And in that video, there's the bit of the drone footage from the last video. In that video, I said to you that uh, it's a crew cab. It was a 05 Land Rover Discovery 3, Disco 3 crew cab. And I really wanted a van with no seats because the hassle in taking those seats out, putting in the floor, getting an engineer's report, it just wasn't worth it. So we were going to do the Overlander build, leaving the back seats in, putting the kitchen and storage in what was left of the boot of the Disco 3, putting the roof tent on top. You would have seen us putting the chunky tires on and brilliant. We were going to start putting on snorkels, spotlights, blah, 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 to make it an Overlander. Let me run the new titles for the Van Build Project 2. And then we go back up to the skies and I'll show you the changes because I'm not leaning on the same Jeep. So have you noticed what the difference was from that drone footage? Yes, we had a 05 Land Rover Discovery Disco. Now, let me turn this camera and show you what we have, just in case you didn't notice the difference. Now we have a 06 Range Rover Sport. Here's what happened. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably have got a sneak view of the Disco when I was out walking with Charlie one day and we forgot to bring our phone so I did a little bit of our Instagram stories sitting in the Jeep. And a friend of mine, one of the camping crew, Ross, rang me and he said, is that a disco crew cab? And I said, yes, it is. And he went, I'm looking for a disco crew cab. And I went, well, I've got one. I had already put the fancy tires onto it, the chunky tires when he had seen the piece of video. So he said to me, you don't need one of them. And I went, no, I would prefer, as I said in the launch video, to have a van with no seats for engineering purposes and payments and ah, just less hassle. So Ross said to me, I've put a deposit on a Range Rover Sport commercial with no seats, but it doesn't really suit me. And he said, again, he goes and buys the seats and gets them put in and gets an engineer's report because he's got kids to trawl around. I just wanted a vehicle, preferably a van with no seats, to turn into an overlander for Project 2 with thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue. So here's the deal. We swapped. Yes, he gave me a 06 Jeep with no seats, leather interior, similar mileage, give or take five or 10,000 kilometers, identical interior up the front end. This one has a sunroof, although it doesn't work, I don't care because I'll be putting solar up there. And we did a straight swap. He came down to my house on the Sunday. He picked up the Disco 3, drove it home. And I picked this up on Monday after it got a service and a full DOE. Now let me show you around. So as I said, she's got a leather interior, but it's identical otherwise, with the exception of the fact that this one has a sunroof. Again, one of the first things I'm gonna do is buy chunky tires. I do like these wheels. This one has windows, as you can see, but on the inside of the windows, they're disconnected and they're carpeted. And there's no seats. Now, that there is the new roof rack to take the roof tent. It's a roof rack and rails. Let's take a look around here. The last one, the Disco, had a split tailgate. This one hasn't. It's just got one big tailgate. And there's the interior. All one level of floor, 
the whole way through, which really, really suits me. No windows because they're carpeted over, which really, really suits me. It is pretty dark in there, so I will be fitting interior lighting. But I've got to be honest, I much prefer working with this one. So the van build starts again. With thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue, this is still the Overlander Project 2. But now we've got to go. We've sourced a roof tent with thanks to our friends at Buckled Wheel. Check them out at buckledwheel.ie or is it buckledwheel.com? I'll give you the details here and we'll be showing you more about the roof tent that we're getting. We're sourcing an interior fridge. We're building storage in the back, which may become a single bed for sleeping on in case you don't want to stay in the tent. We're putting on the chunky tires. We're hoping to fit some spotlights on the roof. We'll possibly even go as far as putting in the snorkel that goes up along the side for if you want to go real off-road and underwater, which I don't think this Jeep will ever see. This Jeep will also be sold at the end of the project after we make a couple of videos because I've no need for an overlander. It's just a winter project. So here's what's going to happen. We'll still be doing some campsites, myself and Charlie, for our winter trilogy, but the odd Friday we'll stick in a van build video so you can keep up with what's going on. This build is going to cost so if you want to help us go to www.ko-fi.com forward slash the van build and as a certain shopping center says every little helps. And I really do appreciate all the support that you guys gave us on the first van build, the B-Baw, and have already given us support on this van build. So without further ado, I shall take this back out of the field, clean that stuff off my shoe that I stood in, and join us again for the van build, Overlander Project 2, with thanks to our friends at garysglue.ie. From me, Aaron, Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Take care.